December 11th, 1982, IU versus Duke. I came to IU in 1963 as a faculty member in the Hyper School. Uh, my responsibility was teaching and then supervising, not coaching. They gave me a title of supervisor of the soccer club. Uh, I was given the impression that soccer was on fast track for varsity. Well, when we came, the club, I remember the first meeting, eight people showed up. It was more of a social, have fun club. And I, I right away I said, hey, let's become a team. Let's not call ourselves the club. Let's act like a varsity team, go under the rules of varsity, play to win, and be serious about this, or I'm not interested in being part of the club program. So we became varsity in 73. Our first Final Four game was four years later in 76. Um, we lost to San Francisco. Two years later, we played in the championship game again, and it was San Francisco. Very, very disappointing losses, especially the 76 when we missed the penalty kick that could have won it. And then in 80, once again, we faced San Francisco in the championship and lost that game. So it was three tries in a title game. When we finally won it in 82, it was really a relief, sort of a monkey off her back, so to say. And uh, it was a wonderful, wonderful, I'll remember that 82 championship forever. We played in Fort Lauderdale and it was a hot, humid evening. We started at 7.30 and I think it ended at 11.30. Eight overtimes, longest game in record. And uh, Greg Thompson's free kick that won it. I mean, you talk about a jubilation, about a, just an exclamation. A, a, it's hard, to, I can't put it into words. Uh, I, I was sort of, uh, in shock, I guess, for a bit. The players, I remember piling on, and I remember being lifted up and given a flag and going around the field. It, it was just surreal. But to have a Midwest team win that championship, and it was, it, it could have gone either way. It was a tremendous game, two tremendous teams. It was fitting of a championship match.